Scene one, Apple take two. Ya, di sini kita menggunakan hampir sekitar 60 tipe jenis senjata. Begitu bervariasi, jauh lebih banyak dari Dread 1 dulu. Kemudian yang menggunakan juga jauh lebih banyak. Dari Dread 1 hanya pasukan khusus dengan gangster, sementara di sini gangsternya jauh lebih lebih lebar lagi. Seorang yang mungkin bukan dunianya dari segi hirup pikuk dunia gemerlap, tapi dia cukup punya punya hubungan dengan dunia malam sebagai seorang yang katakanlah seorang pembunuh. Kerjaan ini pilihan kamu. Yang lama untuk mempersiapkannya sih Prakoso. Warna rambut kita rubah, kita tambahin jenggot, kita bikin dia kelihatan lebih tua, kita bikin dia kelihatan lebih kasihan. Kita ingin orang tuh ada simpati sama Prakoso meskipun dia pembunuh bayaran. Action. Veranda, we kind of wanted to go for a bigger, more cinematic look. We have moments where we use very composed camera movements. So it's kind of a combination of slow dolly shots, big wide shots, and then we go into the fight, where it's obviously hand to hand. So we go back on the fig rig for those. Untuk adegan balapak mobil gitu ya, memang kamera movementnya jauh lebih liar dari dari. Ada kamera yang menggunakan alat berat, contohnya pakai empat krim besar, terus kamera kita gantung di atas. Kita ngeset angle aja, kita perlu ngeblok jalan dengan banyak koordinasi. Nah, tolong bantuannya juga bahwa nanti mobil-mobil yang keluar ini harus teratur, tidak ada penumpukan di tengah-tengah sini, Bapak. We kind of wanted most of the characters to have a different look about them, so there's a different color feel. So Bejo, for example, we're using lots of reds. When we go into the kitchen with the assassin, it's very cold and clean and white. Desainnya dari permintaan director. Director minta setiap scene, setiap setiap lokasi kita punya kita punya beberapa konsep warna yang beda beda. Tidak semua dibikin flat, tidak semua dibikin sama. It's a, it's a mix of different styles, so like there'll be certain scenes that call for that kind of chaos. There's certain scenes where we establish traditional elements, so like we have a scene with like a Rayog performance. So we decided to use some of the source material, audio from the performance, but then fuse it with like a dramatic score that kind of like gives it more tempo and keeps pushing the, the scene forward. We have Indonesian elements, we have Indonesian instruments, we have electronic score, we have that sort of like crazy high octane stuff as well. But then mixed in with all of that, we have these real nice sort of like emotional beats where we sort of introduce like strings and things like that as well. So it's a, it's a whole collage of different styles, but like with one central theme that kind of hangs everything together then. Kita harus bisa menggabungkan segi tradisional yang tarian reok itu dengan scoring kita sendiri. Lebih ke apa ya? 
adrenalin dari percussion based sih jadi based jadi lebih banyak variasi-variasi uh, per, uh, perkusi yang terjadi yeah. One reason why I love uh, scoring films is because all the answers are in the film. You're never at a point uh, in the scoring process where you're going, I have no idea what to do because you have this really great uh, guide, which is the film and the director, and really bring across the character of the film and to really reach out and grab the audience and make them feel even more apart and more, more enthralled in the, in the picture.